Hey, this is Nix, and today I wanted to go over Sims 4 Studio Batch Fixes. I went over it briefly in some previous videos, but I think this program is really helpful and deserves its own video. So Sims 4 Studio is a really great program that pretty much allows you to do whatever you want with CC, whether that's delete it, create it, modify it, update it. And today we're going to be focusing on updating it with the Sims 4 Studio Batch Fix. Now, this doesn't always fix the problem with your CC, but sometimes when you download some old CC from say 2016, uh, running a batch fix may actually uh, make it more compatible with the game. And it might actually, you know, start running with the game. Now I'm not saying it won't throw um, exceptions or errors after you, you know, fix it, but <laughs> you may be, it may be usable afterwards. Uh, that's all I'm saying. I say all this because recently I downloaded some windows and they wouldn't work in my game, but luckily after running a batch fix, it was able to work. And it was windows wasn't even that old, old. They were like 2019 or 2020 windows or something like that. So yeah, so there's specific batch fixes that they have to kind of help with, with certain things. So let's say, like I said, with windows, you would go to content management, batch fixes, and then go to object and um, I think Windows was a specific update. Oh, fix windows and doors with the Star Wars patch. So when the Star Wars uh, DLC came out, that kind of broke some windows and doors. I had recently downloaded some um, some windows and it wasn't working. And I was actually able to fix it with that. Again, it doesn't work for all windows, but for a lot of different CC, it will work. And you just click it and they'll say, hey, uh, where's your mods folder? Then they say, where you want your backup stuff to be. So this is where it'll store all the original files for that. And you hit run. And it'll take a while to run this fix because it has to go through all of your CC to make sure that it gets all the windows and doors that needs to be fixed in the folder to make sure it fixes all of it. Or, you know, as best as it can anyway. And it'll tell you what it was able to fix. Like I have my stuff merged all together. Um, I have a lot of my stuff for it together and it's saying all this stuff is unable to be fixed but that's because i already fixed all this i think well no okay hey this is editing nix here i didn't realize that i had the sims game open um the batch fixes won't be able to run properly while the game is open because it replaces the originally downloaded cc with the now fixed cc and of course it can't do that if your game is open so please remember to close your game before running a batch fix and don't look crazy like me, okay? <laughs> all right, back to the video. So I just realized that I had the game open, but I really wanna show you all what happens when it actually fixes your CC. So I went ahead and ran a Seasons Batch Fix, mostly because I didn't remember what it did. But it, as we can see here, it just adds hot and cold weather tags to your CC. You probably won't need this Batch Fix. Anyway, as you can see, once it's run, done running, you can see what it fixed um, at the top. And like earlier, it tells you what it was able to fix and stuff it didn't need to fix at the bottom. It'll open a window to the fixed items. You just click it and then click on back fix this. I'm gonna go ahead and organize it by most recent. This is our file here, the season batch. It'll tell you which batch fix it is on at the end. It now has a backup folder inside of it. This contains all your originally downloaded CC. I have my CC organized into different categories in my mods folder, so that's how it appears here. But after a while though, all these copies are going to take up a lot of space on your drive, especially things like hair and skins, because as you know, they can be really big files. So once you know that the CC works in your game, you can just go ahead and delete them from your back fixes folder. So that way you won't have, you know, a bunch of CC clogging up space on your drive. Also, make sure you have the latest version of Sims 4 Studio. Um, currently, it is 3.1.5.8 wishes for Windows. I think Mac's version is called Apple Blossom. I'm not sure what is the latest, uh, you know, version for that though. I stress this because remember last year when the CC chairs weren't working after the Sims 4 update? Well, the Sims 4 Studio team came up with a patch for that, like not long after that happened. So if there's an update that breaks CC, uh, Sims 4 Studio may have a patch for that. So it's just good to keep it up to date. But overall, you know, this may not always fix your outdated CC. 
but it is an option before you just delete your CC. You know, it's just something to try before you go ahead and delete it. That's how I feel about it. Again, it won't always fix it, but it may help. I've definitely used it. Like I said, I had some windows that I had downloaded that was a little older and it didn't work. And I used the batch fix and it was able to fix those windows. Some other windows, it wasn't able to fix either. So it just depends. Um, one more thing that I wanted to go over before um, I end this, you can prevent your tiny sims from walking around with wings and other crazy CC by going back to batch fixes and clicking disallow CC for random. This will prevent all your unplayed sims from wearing CC. If you want to prevent it just for a certain occult, you can do that too, such as aliens, vampires, mermaids, whatever. If you like, I can go over some ways your towny sims can have set outfits or you can ask other questions you would like to know about the sims and I'll try my best to answer. If you want to know how to download Sims 4 Studio, you can click here and I hope you found this helpful. And thank you for taking the time to watch this. Please subscribe for more and until next time, bye!